As you can see, we have program and PLC on Tier Portal and we are connected successfully. If you want to learn how you can connect your PLC to your laptop, just follow the video. Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can connect your PC to S7 1200. We have a S7 1200 here and as you can see we are using Profinet to just connect the PLC to the PC. Okay, the first thing that we have to do is uh, just use a cable to, that support Profinet and then after that I bring this cable to this switch box as you can see it's a one of the simplest and unmanaged router that after that we have a cable that goes to our laptop that's located here and we have the screen as you can see it's mirror here I'm using Tio Portal version 15.1 and I open it just wait. In this section, I just create a new project and then I click on create. We should wait. Okay, here I will use project view. And then always we should check that our subnet, I, I'm speaking about IP address, is the same uh, as PLC has, okay? So for this purpose, I will, go, I will go to control panel and here I will choose network and sharing center. Here we have an Ethernet. As you can see, this is where my PLC is connected. So. I will go to properties and then internet protocol version 4 TCP dash IP version 4. By default, this is your computer. Okay, this is the default. So I will go to TIA portal and here we have an option online access. I will click on that. Just wait. We have several options here. Teleservice, USB, PLC SIM, PC, and blah, blah, blah. But Realtek PCIe, this is the main network card on my laptop. I just press update and just wait until this process finished. As it goes, you can see we have PLC and HMI. This is my IP. This is the IP of PLC. 192.168.0.10. This zero is subnet and it's really necessary. We should go to control panel, network and sharing, and here, Ethernet. I will just change my IP on my laptop. It, it could be everything that you want, but the, more, the main important key is this. You have this subnet that is zero, okay? And choose another IP addresses that is not actually, that it doesn't have any conflict with this. It, it couldn't be 10, okay? I will use, for example, 11. So let's go and do it. I will click here and here, okay, one, two, okay, one, six, A. Here is subnet. I will say zero and then, for example, 11, 12 or everything that you want. Just click here and okay. So, again, you should update accessible devices. Now we can see everything that we have on our PLC. As you can see, we have program blocks, technology objects, 
PLC data types, etc. Okay, now in this step, I will add my device. This is a bug that we have on Tia Portal, add new device. Okay, we have a 71200 CPU, but I don't know which should I use. You will stick to this one, unspecified CPU. The second one is about C+. We don't have C++ uh, CPU, you can see here. It's just a normal CPU and there is no text that shows this CPU is C+. So, I will go with this one and press OK. Just wait and a PLC with a white color shows on the screen. Okay, here I will click on detect. Now select my PGPC, PNIE, and then my Realtek PCIe, that is my network card on laptop. So start search, just wait, and you can see our PLC is here. This is the MAC address, this is the IP addresses, and the name of that. We have an option that is flash LED. If I choose it and activate it, uh, as you can see, all of LED here are flashing. And it says this PLC is found and is selected. So I choose that one and detect. Suddenly, all of hardware will appear on screen. So, here we just download, here we just upload the devices. I mean, there is no program, there is no software. In this step, you just go online. And I want to bring all of programs that we have on PLC and actually upload them to our laptop. Here again, start search, just wait. Okay, and go online. Now we are online. As you can see, these are brown color. Okay, and it means something is wrong. We don't have the program on PLC on our TO portal or laptop. So, I click on upload and all of information, I mean program, PLC tags, PLC data types, technology operators, etc. They will upload from PLC to our laptop. Continue and upload from device. Okay, wait. And there is, it's great. So everything is perfect and we can check out OB1. Yeah, this is the program that we have on PLC. Have a good time and see you soon.